up everybody? A little Deftones action. So I figured I'd throw one of these videos together because it hasn't been, it's been since, I don't know, shit, it's been a while. It's supposed to be this week's bullshit, it's turning into uh, this month's bullshit. But really, honestly, if I don't have anything to say before we get started here, cheers. I, just, well, I haven't really been drinking that much lately, and I think I feel like when I drink, I think, oh, I should make a video. Like when I'm like, like when I'm like, when I drink tonight, oh, I, mean, I should make a video. I'm spilling it. You know, it's like... But literally, <laughs> the last time I drank was when I made a video, so it's been a while. Anyway, I wanted to make a fucking video regarding it. Infinity War, but not without cleaning up a couple of mistakes that I made. Normally, when I make these videos, I don't tend to—I don't, I don't tend to—I make a ton of mistakes when I make these movies. When I make these movies, when I make these videos, and I usually don't don't bother about uh, correcting myself or anything like that, unless you know it's something major. But I felt the need to do so on Black Panther. I made the Black Panther review last month and I made a few mistakes. <laughs> Some pretty big ones, actually. Um, I confused Florence Kasumba with Den Denai Guerrero, and I believe that's the way you say it. Who played Okoye? That's the way, I don't know how you say it. I say it fast. If I say it fast enough, nobody's going to notice I'm saying it wrong. Okoye. I want to say that's the way you say your name, or is it Okoye? <laughs> Okoye. I've never actually heard anybody say it out loud, so who knows? <laughs> Um, so, Denai Guerrera is the one that I wanted to give all the praise to. Florence Kasumba, I'm sorry, honey, but, you know, you were okay, but you just weren't in it as much, you know? <laughs> but, uh, Denai Guerrero is definitely the one. Also, uh, but, listen, I don't want to, I want to stress the fact that I, the reason I'm making that correction is because she made the fucking film for me. Denai Guerrero did such a good job, and I didn't put it together until later that she's actually on Walking Dead 2, a show that I kind of watch now. What's happened with Walking Dead anyway? I remember when Walking Dead came out, and I used to, I used to just fucking, I used to jones for that shit. I couldn't wait for it to come on. Now, dude, I swear, I swear I'm like, I'm like three or four episodes behind, and I'm like, I don't really care. You know, I don't really give a shit. I don't care about being spoiled anymore. Okay, somebody else is gonna, I mean, you've already killed off all the characters I care about, and so you're not gonna break my heart this week. Sorry. Um, but anyway. She's definitely one of the best parts of the fucking show, too. She's definitely the be best part of that. She's definitely the best part of Walking Dead. She's definitely the best part. I thought she was the best by far part of, uh, um, well, maybe not necessarily by far, but it's really difficult to overcome a, uh, 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 ugh. I don't even know what to say. The lead actor, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but, <laughs> all right, <laughs> So, Chadwick is very fucking awesome, and he's a very, very, very talented actor. I have nothing but respect for him. Nothing but respect for him. But she fucking outshined him. She did. Not by a lot. I want to say by a lot. You know, it's Black Panther. is Black Panther. So, uh, but still, every scene she was in, I was just like, oh my God, there she is. Look at her. Watch what she's doing. And every scene that she was in, I'm always like, find her, because... I have to find that girl because I know she's going to do something fucking badass. And, and it always seems like that every scene she was just doing something badass. She was great. She was fucking great. So I apologize to um, enthusiasts out there who probably weren't really all, over, all, all that much, so much all over me for uh, making my mistakes. But the mistakes, mistakes were made. All right? <laughs> I wasn't the only one either. I thought, and I figured... Normally, I would leave a mistake like this just alone and just move on from it. But since I'm, you know, correcting mistakes that I made in my last video, I might as well throw in there that I said Warmonger as opposed to Killmonger. Killmonger is the name of the character. Warmonger is what I said. So, normally, that's the kind of mistake that, yeah, all right, it's not that big a deal. Just keep on, just just move on and don't even bother about it. But I really did want to correct myself with the whole Deny. Deny Guerrero, and I believe that's the way you say it. Deny Guerrero, I believe is the way that... <laughs> I butcher names. I do. I do. It's what I do. But anyway, I wanted to talk about Infinity War just a little bit, and actually just kind of put out a, a video for my uh, for my friends out there uh, who uh, who don't read comics or don't know what the hell you know what what exactly what, why are why are all my comic book friends so crazily hyped about this freaking movie? It's because it's been building for a long time. Uh, Thanos is the character that was the end of the ver the first Avengers movie. And nobody knew who that was at the time, it, in, unless you were a comic aficionado, you know, <laughs> aficionado, or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying. 
But uh, you know, unless you were unless you were di- knee deep in comics and you're a Marvel fan or are, you're a Marvel fan, then you didn't really know who Thanos was until and, and, you know until you got out of the theater and you went and you asked your comic friends, "Who the hell is that guy?" <laughs> so uh, let's kind of paint the picture for you a little bit and uh, simplify it a little bit, and maybe give you a little bit of the speculations that I have. Well, they've been building to this for quite some time, and so now is what they consider the payoff for, uh, I want to say the Infinity Gauntlet-inspired storyline that, that's going into this theater. And it's loosely inspired, obviously. We're going to be missing a shit ton of characters. We're going to be missing uh, Silver Surfer. We're going to be missing um, Adam Warlock. Uh, there's a host of others, I'm sure, uh, that I'm just not... I'm, you know what? I, I believe the Fantastic Four was loosely involved with it as well they weren't really the main focus but they were in there but this one is probably going to be more and i hope so it sounds like what they're going to do is uh, they're going to build uh, thanos's character for the most part in this next coming infinity war so we're all going to get a chance to see what he is what his motivations are and uh in the comic book his motivations was he was in love with uh, a character called death and everything that he did was in service of Proving his love to her or trying to earn her respect, and um, and he blinks out half the universe. He gets the, he goes on this Thanos quest. Thanos quest, I think, is what I think they're also going to try to mix in with Infinity Gauntlet. Thanos quest is basically a storyline that has Thanos kind of having a vision in or of seeing the future inside a well and. Uh, and his his vision is to was to gather all of the infinity stones and a brief explanation of the infinity stones is they're more or less the building blocks of the whole entire freaking existence and but they're out there for people to grab and shit and different owners had them in the comics than they do in in the movies and what I want to try to do is sum up for all the people that don't really read comics like what it what's the big deal okay well The gauntlet is a glove that fits all of these Infinity Stones, and when it is completed, technically you're an omnipotent being who cannot be defeated by anything. So, um, what makes up these? What what, what, what are the stones that make up the Infinity Gauntlet? There's a space stone, which allows you to travel through space, a time stone, which allows you to manipulate time, power stone, which, which... you know, self-explanatory grants you power a mind stone, which I, I, I obviously allows you to either read minds and manipulate the whole mind thing. Every each one is a reality stones, augment reality, soul stone. Uh, I think soul stone has something to do with being able to bring people back from the dead or something like that. I don't, I'm, or being able to find lost souls, whatever. The soul stone somewhere, somewhere, somewhere that is. A little fuzzy on the soul stone. I'm not sure. I know that uh, Adam Warlock once upon a time had the soul stone. In the comics and everything like that. Where are we in the movies? Space? Space? Well, you know, if you saw Ragnarok, it looks like uh, if you, you know, come to your own conclusion, then Loki has the space, space, uh, the, 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 he has the Tesseract, which, is, you know, inside the Tesseract is where the space, uh, space uh, gem is going to be. Um, time, time, Doctor Strange has, uh, has the time gem. Um, mind, vision has the mind, mind, and reality, is uh who's the reality oh i believe the collector has the reality stone yeah the collector has the reality stone so that's in the marvel cinematic universe the way things are right now we don't know where the soul stone is we don't know where it's going to be there's a lot of speculation as to such why uh, where where it might be but uh i i i'm i'm okay with being pleasantly surprised by wherever the hell it is i mean i'm gonna float out a couple possibilities maybe thanos just has always had the stone he just, just had but in the Thanos' quest, the whole point of the journey was that he couldn't just go after, you know, the Soul Stone or or just the Power Stone or just. He had to get the stones in some sort of sequential order so that the previous stones that he picked up could aid him in getting whatever third one he wanted. So if he has two, he uses... All right, let's say... Let's take, for example, the freaking trailer. All right? In the trailer... Uh, you, and at the end of the trailer, you see Cap getting, you know, like squished by Thanos with the glove. And in the glove, you see the space, and it looks like the mind gem are already in there, right? So, 
that that that's basically what we're saying is like you know who knows what where, when that takes place in the movie you can speculate speculate about it until the cows come home but you know i have no fucking idea um but basically what i'm saying is like he's on he it, it, from that little snippet i'm saying thanos is on his quest he's trying to get all the stones for this thing and he can't get you know it's like I don't know if he had the power stone. I have to look at the trailer again just to see which two are in there. I'm pretty sure it's space and uh, mind, which means that he something bad is... What the hell is going to happen to Vision? Vision is powered by the mind stone, so I'm wondering what happens to him because uh, it looks like that's the one he got unless it's something else. I can't... I have to look at the trailer again. I haven't watched... I, listen, I don't watch trailer millions of times and everything like that. I'm, I'm one of those guys that like to try to go into a movie as unspoiled as possible. But this is a big event, so, you know, it, this thing is just unbelievable. It's a, it's a massive. There's somewhere in the neighborhood of 70-plus heroes in this movie, and then that's not even counting the villains that, that they're going to come up. It's a, just a massive, massive undertaking to try to put all these heroes in one film. Um... <sighs> Uh, and I'm grateful that it's the Russos that are doing this. I trust their, I trust them. But uh, normally I'd be using this time to review Pacific Rim, but you can uh, go ahead and uh, talk to Anthony Santiago about that. Spawny vehemently talked me out of going to see fucking <laughs> Pacific Rim. I was going to go see it. I was actually all said, yeah, I think I'm going to see it on Thursday, blah, 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 blah. And, then, you know, he just kind of came at me with some fucking harshness. <laughs> I was like, all right. Maybe I won't go see it. Fuck it. Whatever. Uh, what's there should, should be other films too. There's another one that was coming out. Ra, Ready Player One. That's another one. But anyway, back to this whole Infinity shit. It's a bittersweet. It's bittersweet for me. All right. I don't know who it's gonna be, but it's probably going to be cap and there's going to be others i think people are going to wind up they're going to kill off they're going to kill off some some heroes in this movie and it's going to be bittersweet it's going to be bittersweet you're going to be like wow that was a fantastic movie but damn i'm going to miss that character you know because how long have we been doing it even if it's robert downey jr we riot but no if it's cap we riot but it's it's it is what it is it's unfortunate it, it just seems like it's like now this is the this is the closing chapter of everything they started, and uh, they're gonna have to more or less not reboot, but you know, go in another direction or eventually reboot, you know. <clears throat> Which uh, I don't know, whatever. So I don't know what to say. Uh, it, it, it's it's just so massive. It is such a massive thing. It really, really is. But like I said, it's bittersweet because we're gonna lose people. We're gonna lose people, and that's what uh, fucking sucks, right? It's just you know, it's like anticipation of this film is very very high but at the same time it's like uh man it's like i don't want it to happen just because i know i'm gonna lose people and it's gonna be a bummer i think the worst thing that could happen though is that they kill off characters and i don't feel nothing well they do it in such a manner that i'm just like yeah you know what i mean they got to be able to reach inside and pull on those heartstrings in order for it to really work if i you know for something to move me but I don't know what else to say. Um, I just wanted to talk about that for a little while. I don't know. I just wanted to shoot the shit about the Infinity Stones for a little while and also break the fact that I haven't had a fucking uh, uh, This Week's Bullshit in a month or so. I think it's been longer. It, you know, I'd like to keep these things going once a week if I could. But the, pro the, 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 honest, the, the God's honest truth of the matter is if I don't feel like I have anything to say, then there really is no point in making a fucking video at all. I'm not going to just get on here and be like, hey, what's up, guys? What do y'all do this week? But, uh, I don't know. So, I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, this fucking video blows. <laughs> but anyway, do something good for yourself. Do something good for somebody else. And uh, I apologize for the mistakes I've made. I'm sure that I'll make many more.